Go. Okay. So we're going to talk about linear equations on proportional relationships. Yesterday we talked about proportional relationships in terms of y equals kx or y equals mx. There's no, um, we talked about there not being a um, convenience fee or whatever the b is because it's going to go up linearly, linear, linear, and go through zero, zero. So slope intercept form. I don't know if I've truly defined this. This is slope inter intercept form. And I think I've said that, but what may have not been super clear on it. So y equals mx plus b is slope intercept form. Okay, remember that k is our m, which is our rise over our run, which is our constant proportionality. Por ugh, cannot talk today. Constant proportionality, our rate of change. And on these proportional ones, we're not going to have a um, y intercept. There is one on the. I think there's one on the homework that does have a y intercept, and I'll tell you that when we get to it. Um, so we're going to define these as x and y. So today we're still going to stick with this formula. It does have letters in it, but we're going to change those to what we want it to be. Okay, so Malik earns $8.50 per hour washing cars. Write an equation to find how much money M Malik earns for any number of hours H. Okay, so we're just going to deal with y, y equals MX. What is our M here if you're doing $8.50 per car? $8.50 Yeah, so we're going Y equals $8.50 x. If we were using their letters, it would be y equals, or m equals 850h. But we're not going to change the letters. We're just going to stick with this. Okay? So, if this is the equation, how much would he earn in four hours? Well, we would sub in plus four. four. Not plus four, but just times, times four. four. So, we would say 850 times four. And if you do 850 times four, okay, you get... 34. Okay, so you get 34. Okay, so that's for four hours. So it says make a table to determine his earnings if he works 7, 8, 9, 10 hours. So here's his table with 7, 8, 9, 10 hours. And it's changing 850 a time because it's going up that 850 an hour. Okay, so here it is in a table and here it is graphed. If we follow this graph back down, it would kind of do the same thing. It would keep on going, and at four hours, we could for sure be at $34. So it should be coming along evenly back to zero, okay? So that's how this kind of works. So it takes it from an equation to a table to a graph, graphs the line, okay? So look at number one. It says a car dealer sells 12 cars per week. If we were to write an equation, it would just be y equals 12x because it's 12 cars per week. So weeks are your x, cars are your y, okay? Because what we're multiplying is the number of weeks we don't know, and that gives us our amount of cars because if, it's, if he sells 12 per week. So write an equation to find the number of cars sold, C, and we just changed that to x and y. So we already did that part, right? Okay? Am I going too fast? No. Okay. So what? 12x. Y equals 12x? You just asked that dot right here. On the video, they're going to be like, yeah. Good thing about a video, you can pause it. Okay. So make a table to find 4, 5, 6, and 7. So if we find 4, 5, 6, and 7, we would plug in x into our formula. So 12 times 4 would be? 38. How about 48? What? 12 times 4 is 48. And how about 12 times 5 is? 60, 12 times 6, and then 12 times 7. So look if you can see the change right there. The change is 12. The change is 12, right? Okay? So that's happening right there. Now I'm going to change up my chart a little bit, and I kind of want you to watch. So know that the weeks is your X, so this is going to be your weeks down here. So we're still going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 weeks so far down here, okay? Now, um, it says graph these ordered pairs, but we're going to change this side up. We're going to go by 12s over here because this is what it's increasing by, right? So we're going to say 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, and 96. And we're going to label this side the cars. Okay, so we have weeks down here, cars over here. So the graph we already have has four weeks and 48 cars. Five weeks and 60 cars. 
six weeks and 72 cars and seven weeks and 84 cars, okay? So it's going up that way. If we went back down, we could tell what this graph is gonna be coming back down, right? So I could go ahead and draw my line going through those numbers, okay? Now I happen to break this down because I knew it was going in multiples of 12 and sometimes it's easier to do smaller numbers on that side, okay? So looking at number two, that's, so we found our equation, put it in a table, graphed it. That's all we're doing, okay? Pretty simple, right? So right here, an author wrote, writes four pages a day. So our equation would be y equals 4x per means multiply, usually you're using x, okay? So y equals 4x, make a table of pay, of the number of pages the author writes in one, two, three, or it should be four days. So one, two, three, four. Well, on day one, he wrote four pages, so a total of four pages, simple, simple enough. Day two, eight, day three, 12, and day four, 16. So we're gonna graph that. We're gonna say days over here and pages on the Y, because this is our X, this is our y. What did we say yesterday that x is usually on your left and y is usually on your right? Do y'all remember that from yesterday? Okay, so it doesn't matter what letters they have, we know that this is our x, this is our y. So x's go on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then our pages go over here. So it went by multiples of four. So I'm probably gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna say four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. Are y'all good with that? And if you can tell it, just kind of, we're going to kind of graph it. Yeah, it makes it easier over here. it's going 1, 2, 3, 4, not like 12, 24. Like yeah, it's not like big gaps 12, in between. 24, 37, like so it's easier to tell what's a truer ratio. Okay. So what we're going to do, this is where we're finished. I do have a sheet. I'm going to pair you up here in just a second. Pair you up, you're gonna partner up, you can work the sheet together, okay? So I'd rather you stay in groups of two, but I'll do that here in just a minute.